Hi everybody, today we're gonna to do extended division facts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the facts that we already know and the ones that we've already worked with and we are going to build on them. So if we have a fact like this, 32 divided by eight, we know that the answer is four. And we can think about our fact families if we're stuck on our division problems. So we know, so if we have 32 divided by eight equals four, 32 divided by 4 equals 8. And then the other part of our fact family here would be 4 times 8 equals 32. And then 8 times 4 equals 32. So if we ever get stuck on a, um, a division problem, remember those fact families are going to be really helpful to um, make sure that we know um, how to solve them. Okay, so 32 divided by 8 is 4. So we're going to use that fact and build upon it with this. So going along with our fact families over here, we have 320 divided by 8. So if we think about this, what, I'm going to actually erase these fact family things over here. So if we think about this, what times 8 would equal 320? So when we think about our extended multiplication facts, we can remember that 40 times eight would be 320. So we have 40 there, okay? So 40 times eight, remember four times eight is 32 and we it's 10 times bigger, so we have an extra zero there. All right, so then the next one, we have what times eight would equal 3,200? So again, we have four times eight would equal 32 and it's 100 times bigger, so it's 400. So my answer here is 400. And then the last one on here, I have what times 8 would equal 32,000. So 4 times 8 would equal 32, right? And then this is actually 1,000 times bigger, so 4,000, okay? I'm big on why this works, right? <clears throat> so if I have 600, so I want to show you with some place value disks how this works. So if I have 600, right, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the hundreds place here, right, 600s, and I'm dividing them by 2. So I'm putting them into two equal rows, so 3 in each row, right? So 600 divided by 2, correct? So that would mean that I have 3 hundred, right? Three in each row. So that would be three hundred. Okay. So if I was looking at these, so I have 42 divided by six, same thing. So if I were thinking about my place value discs, right? This is seven and there it's in the hundreds place. So six times 700 would equal 4,200. Now the next one, I've got 81 divided by 81 100 or 8,100 divided by 9. So 81 divided by 9 is 9. And 900 times 9 would equal 8,100. The next one, I've got 3,500 or 3,500 divided by 7. So 35 divided by 7 is 5. And 500 times 7 would be 3,500. Now, <clears throat> if I take that same topic and I have 600 divided by 20, watch what'll happen. So I have this 600, I have them in two rows, just like I did before, but this time I'm dividing it by 20, okay? So I'm dividing it by something that's 10 times smaller, which means I'm gonna move those over into that tens place. So I have three in each row, right? But it's in the tens place now. So my answer to this is gonna be 30. Okay, we had back here, we're moving it backwards. Now the shortcut for this is that I have my numbers, just like I did before, 63 divided by seven, which would be nine. And just like, so the shortcut to this and the way to kind of look at this when, you're, when you don't have place value disks is to cancel out or cross out the zeros that match in your bigger number, this dividend, and your divisor. So we've got, the, we cross out these two zeros and we're left with one zero, and that is the zero that would go over here in our answer. And when we, if we were to solve this out, 70 times 90 
would indeed be 6,300. So if we're looking at fact families, that's a quick check. Okay, next one. I've got 28 divided by 4, which would be 7. And then I can cancel out or cross out these zeros, and I get 70, right? And again, 40 times 70 is 2,800. All right, last one on this page. 56 divided by 8 is 7. And then I'm going to cross out these zeros, and I get 70. Okay, now if I get 600 divided by 200, so I'm putting them in two rows, and I'm actually going to pull them. Oops, I grabbed the wrong thing. I'm going to pull them 100 times smaller, right? So I'm going 10 times smaller, 100 times smaller. So in each row, I would have three ones. Okay, do you see how that works? So I did have, whoa, goodness. I did have these six in the six in my hundreds place, and I'm going to make it 100 times smaller. That's 10 times smaller, 100 times smaller with my three. There's three in each row, so three ones in each row. Okay, same concept. I've got 24 divided by 4, which would be 6, and then I'm going to cancel out my zeros or cross out my zeros, so my answer here is 6. 18 divided by 3 is 6, and then if I match up my zeros, the answer is 6. 42 divided by 6 is 7, and then I match up my zeros, and my answer is 7. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.